In this video, I will demonstrate that you can store files on the Tangle using Mask Authenticated Messaging. During making of this tutorial, I encountered a bug in the mem.web.js library. I was using the 5 February 2018 commit version. The bug is in the decode function in the Rust code, which can only handle messages up to a certain size. See this link. Please note, this library is work in progress. A work around this bug is to break up messages into chunks and upload a stream of mem messages. If you have watched IO tutorial 19 and 22 and you are using my demo web applications, be aware of this bug. I am referring to these two web applications. Two web applications are created to demonstrate storing files on the Tangle using mass authenticated messaging. Demo 1. The uploaded file is not broken up in chunks. Due to the bug, this web application only works for small files, 5 kilobytes or less, in any channel mode and security level. This web application. Demo 2. The uploaded file is broken up in chunks. This web application works for any uploaded file size, channel mode and security level. This web application. Both web applications are created for educational purpose and can store any file types, meaning text files or binary files, on the Tangle. I'm now going to demonstrate storing a small image file on the Tangle using mask authenticated messaging. Select option Data Publisher. I'm selecting this mainnet endpoint. A random seed is automatically generated. I'm using security level 2. I'm selecting channel mode public. I do not want any message logging in the console. This is a small image file. It is 4 kilobytes in size. This is the image file. Let's drag this image files to this drop area. The file name and file content are encoded in Base64. This is the file name in Base64. And this is the image in Base64. File name and image are separated by a colon. Press the button Start Publishing Data. The image file is now stored in a tangle. And this is its root. Open the same web application in a new tab. Now select option Data Receiver. Select the mainnet endpoint. Select the same channel mode. I'm not interested in message logging in the console. Go back to the previous tab to copy the root. Copy the root. Paste the root. Press the button Start Receiving Data. As you can see over here, the image is downloaded from the Tangle. Let's open it. And this is the image extracted from the Tangle. You can apply the same steps using this web application. Please note, in this video, a file is also considered to be a message. When using MEM, try to avoid breaking up a message in chunks. For each chunk, a mask payload and therefore a transaction bundle is created. Creating a mask payload, this mask payload, creates overhead, meaning index, message length, nonce, signature, number of siblings, and siblings. Question. Can I use MEM to store a large message on the Tangle, for example a 1 megabyte PDF file? Answer. Yes, you can. But do you want to do this? Let's assume the bug is fixed and you do not have to break up the 1 megabyte PDF file in chunks. This file is stored on the Tangle by creating a transaction bundle containing multiple transaction objects. Each signature message fragment field of these transaction objects contains part of the file. For each transaction object, a proof of work needs to be done. 
So a one megabyte message equals approximately 1.8 million trites, not taking into account other mask payload overhead. The transaction bundle consists of 1.76 million divided by 2187 equals approximately 807 transaction objects. The proof of work takes approximately 19 seconds per transaction object. I have done some non-scientific measurements and came to this number. Please do your own measurements. The total time spent for the proof of work is 807 times 19 seconds is approximately four and a quarter hours. To store a one megabyte message on the Tangle takes approximately four and a quarter hours. The main purpose of this calculation is to inform you that storing a large message size on the Tangle takes a lot of time. Also remember, after a snapshot, all stored files are deleted from the Tangle. The stored files are still available if the subscriber is connected to a permanode. I will now demonstrate another use case. Let's assume a software update, a few kilobytes in size, is stored on the Tangle. To simulate a software update, create a file. You have to name this file mobilefish underscore change underscore color dot txt. This file must contain a single line containing a color code, for example, hash ff0000. The first two characters are the red colors, the second two characters are the green colors, and the last two characters are the blue colors. So this color code means red. Now let's simulate a software update. Select option Data Publisher, select this mainnet endpoint, generate a random seed automatically, select security level 2, select restricted mode, do not display message logging in the console, enter encryption key my secret. Here is the file with the color code. Drag and drop this file in this area. The file is uploaded and converted to base64. This is the file name and this is the file content, separated by a colon. Press the button Start Publishing Data. The file with the color code is stored on the Tangle. This is its root. Copy the root. Now select option Data Receiver. Use the same mainnet endpoint. Select channel mode restricted. Do not display message logging in the console. The encryption key is my secret. Paste the copied root. Press the clear button. And now press the button Start Receiving Data. The file mobilefish underscore change underscore color dot txt is extracted from the Tangle and processed. And as you can see, the background color of this web application is changed to blue, simulating a software update. And as you can see, the file was downloaded. Several days ago, I have stored a 30 kilobyte file on a Tangle using this web application. Now let's retrieve this stored file. Select option Data Receiver. Select this mainnet endpoint. Select channel mode public. I'm not interested in displaying message logging in the console and enter this route in the text box. Press the button Start Receiving Data. As you can see, this image file is extracted from the Tangle and automatically downloaded. Double click the downloaded file. And this is the image extracted from the Tangle. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.